Hello, beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to your weekly message. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. I hope that this message finds all of you guys extremely well. <laughs> um, thank you for joining me here on the channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome to the tribe. If you are returning, welcome back, my loves. All right. So I'm going to start off with some Mist of Avalon Oracle. We're going to see... Um, I pulled it out. I was called to use it in Aquarius's message, um, and I'm feeling called to keep using it. So I'll tell you the same thing that I kind of told them that with this deck, like it's you know the Mist of Avalon, the Isle of Avalon. It's connected to um, the Avalonian priestesses, Morgan Le Fay, Merlin. Right? It's the Arthurian era. All of that could be relevant. Some of you guys could have past lives. You could connect. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I keep getting Merlin. Some of you guys could be connected to Merlin. All right, let's see. Definitely connecting more to your esoteric side, your, 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 your mystical, magical side. I, those don't feel right to me. That does. The Excalibur. Look, it's like the Ace of Swords. So you have Excalibur. Sovereignty, truth, action, and power. You hold the power. You wield the sword. There's some kind of breakthrough here for you too. Master number 11. There's some kind of truth, clarity coming to you. Okay, I feel like you guys are getting more like clear and, you know, like on your own truths. Okay. Like, I feel that your perspectives have been shifting. You've been changing. You've been aligning. You've been ascending. Things are really shifting. You don't think the same way you used to think. Maybe you don't connect with the people around you, <clears throat> you know, that maybe are not awakening or they're still in a lower vibrational state of being, consciousness, right? You're having massive breakthrough energy here. Okay. Connecting to your divine sovereignty, your divine truth. Having, you know, realizations, epiphany moments of who you are, what you're here to do, what you want to do, what you're being called to do, what you're being called to create. Taliesin. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but. Master, okay, so you have 11 and 22. Okay, so a lot of 11, 11 energy here. Yeah, you guys are definitely, a lot of you guys are like mastering ascension here. The stone circles um, uh, could be relevant to you guys. I'm getting sacred sites. Some of you guys are being called to sacred sites. You're being called to travel different places in the world or go to, I don't know. I'm getting sacred sites and ancestral sites. Divination, storytelling, creativity, and poetry. So your creative, your creative consciousness is expanding and, and growing as you expand and ascend and grow too. Like, and what I mean by that is like, sorry, I just had to close the blinds really quick. It is the, it's like the golden hour right now. Um, you could be getting into like sound healing, musical instruments. You could be called to um, start writing, like it says, poetry. Maybe you are, maybe you do write poetry. Maybe you do write music. Maybe that's how you channel divination. Some of you guys are getting more into the art of divination. Tarot, oracle, runes, pendulum, crystals, crystal ball, scrying. I mean, you can go on and on and on, right? So I feel like, yeah, that's what I meant when I'm, you guys are really connecting to your divine sovereignty and your truth with Excalibur. That's what I mean. And other ways. Let's get one more, please, for Scorpio. And then we'll pull out some tarot. You got Merlin. And right, it's 444, right as Merlin comes out. You cannot make it up. Wow. Yeah, you guys are some powerful um, witches, wizards, 
magicians, um, you know, high priests, high priestesses. He's a druid. Merlin was a druid. He is a druid. Um, 18, magic, perception, equilibrium, and alchemy. Wow. Okay. And I'm getting hard at work. So you guys have been hard at work. Alchemizing. Creating. And like I said, like you, you could be having like perception shifts, perception. You're, you're, you're growing more into the master. Okay. You know, and we're, we're getting like really big, you know, like today we have like huge, we've been having these huge, like solar flares and, you know, solar storms. And today, um, I just saw on Instagram, we're, we're getting, um, uh, it's like an, an, an X, they call it like, it's, it's level X flare. It's like huge, huge, huge. And it, it affects earth's magnetic field, which in turn affects us. The two of wands followed by the moon. I'm getting moon goddesses. You guys are moon goddesses. Some of you guys, or you just really connect to the moon, the nighttime. Wolves can be relevant. You could have a spirit totem, um, a spirit animal. Wolf spirit could be showing up for you in different readings or just different ways. You guys are very independent. There's something that you guys have done and created all on your own. And maybe it's been in the shadows or there's something about you being revealed to the world. Like the world is going to see you. You're going to shine. And you're going to feel like you have the whole world in your hands, Scorpio. Okay, but you've been going through the shadow, the moon, the dark time. A lot of people have. Okay, but a new day is dawning. You guys are setting the intentions of things. Setting goals. Really using your third eye. You could be manifesting with moon cycles, working with the the astrology transits and the moon phases. Some of you guys are learning about astrology, becoming astrologers. You could want to do an astrology channel. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Great wealth and stability. Long-term wealth here. Okay, let's get more about the Queen of Pentacles. Show me more. The Queen of Wands, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Definitely in the higher vibrational energy, Scorpio. Okay, so you guys are getting more stable, grounded. Your abundance is going to start, you know, there's a prosperity energy with the Queen of Pentacles for sure. But you're also very fiery you know, goal oriented, action oriented, you're, you're very attractive, you're sexy, you're driven. Okay. There's something about your outer appearance. Okay. Some of you guys could be changing your physical appearance, you know, I don't know, getting in shape, changing diet. Um, someone, what I'm also getting is like queen of pentacles. There could be something about a decision or a choice between two queens. And then when I say that we have the magician and then the 10 of swords. Someone is manifesting an ending. Someone is manifesting an ending here. For sure, for sure, for sure. Something is, yeah, see, they're going back and forth juggling. That's what I, I literally just freaking said that. They're juggling. All right, so Scorpio, I don't know if this is you or someone that you connect to. Who is this magician? This person could have like had like a trickster energy about them or they were like, I don't know, like a con like they tried to control everything. Um, oh, King of Pentacles. That was a lot of cards though. King of Pentacles just popped up. So this, this, this person, whoever they are, Scorpio, for you, they, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So it is a King of Pentacles that wants the Queen of Pentacles. So they, there's, there's a decision being made about a Queen of Wands. karmic third party that's what i'm getting yeah so they're they're making some decisions here 
weighing the options, going back and forth, or they have been. That's why we started with Excalibur, Ace of Swords energy here. Like it's a breakthrough. It's a new beginning. There's some kind of truth. It's a healing truth. It's some kind of divine truth. It's like divinely led and guided, this truth. Tell me the Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, please. And the Ten of Swords. Four of Pentacles. I just saw one, two, three. You guys might be seeing that. We have the one, two, three, one, two, three date um, at the end of the, at, on December 31st. The date will be one, two, three, one, two, three. There's a whole thing behind that. As far as like the energy and how powerful it is and stuff. There is the King of Pentacles. I knew it. That's why I didn't take him. He flipped over with a whole bunch of cards. <clears throat> it was just like too many. But I knew if he was meant to come out, he would. And he flew right out here. Okay, so this King of Pentacles is making a decision, a choice. He's been holding on to something. Okay, and he's in a tower. So this person's either going through this right now or they're going to be going through this. They are in a tower over some type of home dynamic or live-in situation, some type of connection, marriage, engagement, uh, relationship, partnership. This person is manifesting something new. They want, they want, it's like out with the old and with the new. That's uh, someone who's setting their intentions, leaving behind the other wand and choosing the ace of wands there. Okay, but it's all in the shadows with the moon. It's like still, it's like hidden. All right, so tell me the two of wands and the moon, please, for Scorpio. This could be something this person is just manifesting. It hasn't even happened yet, but it's going to. Six of cups, because they they want to they want to revisit the past with someone. Past life soulmate, nostalgia, memories, all the things, right? So this person is thinking about that. It's almost like they're thinking of the past and they're thinking like, wow, like, it's like that person like was my whole world. See how he's holding the world in his hands? What's that saying? What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? Something like that. It's like this person I feel is cho they chose wrong. They're going through a pretty painful ending or they will be maybe they have for some of you guys already but there's something uh, there's a there's a volcano that's gonna erupt there's something here that's happening they can't forget the past okay so oh, okay i just had a card Come out of the deck, flew on the ground. It is the Knight of Cups. Secret admirer, right? But it is about romantic love and, you know, chivalry and stuff. He could also be a little fickle. He can come in and love bomb you and then be gone. Okay, so that could be, you know, I don't know. I just feel like this is someone who just holds that, this cup of love and they, you know, maybe they haven't shared it yet. They haven't spoken it yet because maybe they need to clean up their life before they can do that. Okay, it's like I wanna come in, but I wanna come correct. On the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant, the High Priest. You have Merlin, the High Priest, the Magician. This is a very powerful masculine, but I feel like I'm talking to a very powerful feminine. Um, even if like you're a, a man watching this, you know, in, in this maybe connection, you're maybe the Divine Feminine because you're the one here watching tarot, you're the one who's more spiritually open or, you know, ascended or whatever, you know, you're open. Okay. So this person feels this on a high soul level with the high priest. Long, long-term commitment here. See the, the keys, how their keys are crisscrossed and it's like the sun and the moon. Okay, that's like the sun and the moon cross cross paths, right? Like 
it's like divine feminine, divine masculine crossing paths. Like what I'm, what I'm getting is like, you guys are meant to cross paths. This person is manifesting this. See, eight of wands. Movement. And then the sun card, bottom of the deck. Happiness. But it's also enlightenment. It's also like revealing all, shining the light on everything. That's the Excalibur Ace of Swords energy too. So this person is... They, they're, there's some kind of passionate communication that opens things up or brings enlightenment. This person's higher self, the inner child, is guiding them, leading them in life right now. I feel both of your inner children, like you guys... This is a really powerful soul connection here, Scorpio. Whether it be a twin flame or a very, you know, old past life soulmate connection. Let's see what the Intuit Oracle has to say. So if this is your message, of course, claim the energy, my loves, by liking the video. And thank you for liking and for sharing, subscribing. Um... You know, I do have the comments off right now just through Mercury Retrograde, so they'll be off on the channel for the next two weeks, which, you know, I know is a bummer. I love connecting with you guys there. Um, so if you are new here, this, the comments are usually always on. But, yeah, I just felt I needed to shut them off through the Retrograde because um, people can get a little pop-off, a little cray-cray. All right, look, so you have the, the emperor and the magician again. This person is manifesting you hard. They are manifesting action in their life like crazy. So they are taking action. They're taking the, they're taking the lead, they're taking control over whatever they've been going back and forth about, holding on to, you know, karmic energy, whatever it is. There's the wolf energy. Okay, and I pointed out the wolves here. So the wolf spirit is big here around you, around this person. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this masculine, they, they carry the wolf spirit. They could be like a lone wolf. But this is someone who's listening to their inner, their inner knowing, their instincts. It says freedom and believe in your power, resilience, confidence. <coughs> they, they need confidence here. They've been lacking confidence to stand in their power to stand in their truth, the sun card, solar plexus, that's confidence, that's your inner fire, your willpower. The waterfall, overflowing abundance, and then the cardinal first, it says, yes, take inspired action. Yeah, see, they are manifesting action, passionate communication, and forward movement. The waterfall, overflowing abundance, tears of sorrow or joy, release, yeah, there's some kind of release happening for sure. Fulfillment, chasing after something and emotional release. So it's like this person is really, they, they want to open up about how they feel, but it's like they got to take care of business first. They got to clean up some stuff first. But it's like there will be tears of joy, okay, is what I want to say. That's what I got. <laughs> so anyways, and for you guys personally, like overflowing abundance. Again, there's like, you know, stuff flying towards you. Eight of wands. Manifestations hitting from, you know, into the 3D reality from the ethers. You guys might be making some choices or decisions about some stuff too. In your own personal life, it could be about anything. And I'm also getting Scorpio to listen to your intuition because your intuition is on point. Like you guys are sharp. You guys, you guys are, you guys could read the room is what I want to say. You guys are super tapped in. Like I said, I said like moon goddess and then you have Merlin. Yeah. Powerful energies here. And you have the magician twice, the hierophant. Yeah. Super connected to the spiritual realm and the 5d. So anyways, 
this is what I have for you, my loves. If you guys want to book a reading, a personal reading with me, you can find all of the information in the description box. I have a few different types of readings that I offer um, or services. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support for being here. Happy holidays to you. And I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.